What's up, VDSIS? It's Lil Wayne. About to go pick up Demi, show him around New York City. Hopefully, we don't get in no trouble today. Oh, there you go, right there. About to go pull up on him right now. Yo, what's up, Demi? Ready to go to the city today? Yes. All right, bro, let's go, man. You ever been to New York before? No, I never been to New York before. You've heard about it, though? Yes. What's the most, what's the, 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 well-known thing that you've heard about New York? Like, what's the most known attraction um, that you would like to go see? Maybe um, um, Times Square. Times Square? I think we could do that today. Okay. Central Park? Central Park? It's not that far from Times Square. We could definitely hit that up. You want something to drink right now? You thirsty? Yes. You ever been to 7-Eleven? They got 7-Eleven in Germany? No, I don't, I don't know, but, no. but I think no. What? Are you serious, man? I used to love coming here when I was your age, bro. Actually, I still do. I'm a member. I got a membership card. Let's go and see if I got some reward points. So it's great that you, that you are going there. Most definitely. We're about to see how cool this store is. That's it? Yes. You know there's like five different flavors of uh, um, Fanta? Yes, I know, but... Orange is your favorite? Orange. Oh, man. I'm going to try to convince you otherwise today. Oh, you in the mood for some candy? No. No candy? They got some deals, two for three right here. Some water, want some water? No. Yeah. Looking for some fancy stuff, right? Oh man. Got some Gatorade, two for three. Got juice, two for two. Fan, oh, there we found it. Buy one, get one for a dollar. Oh, they even got deals on orange soap. What about mango? Not even mango? Try mango, we get one of each. Yes. If you don't like it, I'll finish it. You can hold that for me right quick. I need to get something healthy. I can't just drink soda all day. I'm gonna put you on to something. I just learned about it. Cold press organic. Oh man, some veggie juice right here. Some good stuff. I think I'm gonna get two of them. I'm thirsty. You got candies like this in there in Germany? Yes, yes we have. You see anything you want? Anything different? You see anything you've never seen before? Um, bed we have in Germany. We have them and them. Sneakers we have. Oh, see, I pretty much got everything we got. Skittles we have too. Skittles. You have these kind of candies out in Germany? No. No, no really. Oh man. So maybe you can. Yeah, definitely. That's spicy. You up for it? All right. Definitely eat these. You hungry? Want any sandwiches or anything? Just gonna, just gonna eat candy all day? That's what we're gonna do? That's, that's better. My teeth are gonna fall out by the end of the day, I'm telling you, bro. Are you done shopping? You need anything else in the store? Yes, I think so. All right, let's go check out. Thank you, get in there. All right, let's go. Start making our way to Times Square. We got a long way ahead of us, man. We got some Sour Patch Kids Fire. I know these are gonna be mad good. I can't wait to try these, bro. Oh, man. We got Demi trying some new Fanta. Yes. It's not orange Fanta today, it's mango. We're trying something new. Trendsetters out here. We no plain Jane, man, no plain Jane. But we got a backup just in yeah. case if he needs it. If you don't like it, then yes. there's nothing I can do about it, you know what I mean? And of course, I can't be sitting here drinking soda all day. I got my little green juice, you know. Gotta stay healthy, man. Gotta stay fit. 
gotta stay smart. You gotta keep that brain fed with positive vibes. All right, man. So enough of this. Let's get out there on the road. Yes. Let's go show you New York today, man. Yeah, the traffic here is crazy, especially during rush hour. I mean, I, I picked the wrong time, I guess, to go to the city. But that's the part of being a New Yorker, man. Be prepared to be sitting here forever. Get some more candy while you're at it. We got a nice little park over here. This is Hempstead State Park. Big lake. It's like one of the biggest bodies of water on uh, Long Island. Like inland. It's a pretty cool spot. During the summertime, come to the park with your family. You can walk around, go around the lake. It's pretty scenic sometimes, you know. When you're not um making music and stuff and traveling, what else do you do? What else what do you like to do for fun? Um, I do gymnastics. Gymnastics? Yes. Oh man, you must got that crazy upper body trick. Sorry, let me put this on mute. What's that? Yes, gymnastics and uh, draw. You like to draw? You're an yes. artist? Like? I like to draw something. Yes. Like Picasso? Yes. Oh man, you're gonna start selling art one day? But all around, jack of all trades artist right here. I oh, mean, this uh, homeless guy, he's asking for money or any change or anything. Uh, sometimes you can never know. Mm -hmm. If you feel like doing your good deed for the day, you can give him a dollar. But I'm gonna keep my window rolled up. That's better. Yeah. I don't know what he's singing, but he's not getting to deal with us. All right, so you know anything about American history and the immigration? Only that um, Columbus did. Um... Oh, Christopher Columbus. Uh, other than him, I'm talking about after the fact when uh, America was founded. Mm -hmm. We had the Constitution. Then a lot of European ships were bringing a lot of people over here to America. And literally, it was like everybody wanted to stay with their own kind. So... New York pretty much got separated into different countries. So technically right now, we're in Queens, but we're in Little Guyana. It's a, it's a country in the Caribbean where uh, Indian African slaves were, were brought over there and so on and so forth. So they used to be slaves. And when they come to America, this is where they come, to Richmond Hill in Queens. So there's Little Guyana right here. We have different areas like Jamaica. Yes. A lot of Jamaicans over there. Um, there's a, I think there's a lot of Ukrainians in, in Richmond Hill as well. There's, there's a lot of Guyanese and Ukrainians. Uh, but each town, each each little borough, you'll find a different culture. You'll find Israelis in one place, Iranians in another. Germans have their own place. The Irish have their place in Hell's Kitchen. Everywhere, yeah, everywhere you go, you'll find a different culture. And with, with a different culture in each town, you'll literally find that culture's food and their presence and their atmosphere. So as we're driving down here, you're going to see a lot of Indian, Hindu, and Sikh symbols and everything all over here. That's great. Yeah, so it's like very culturally diverse when you come to New York, which is I love it about it. Because you get to meet a whole bunch of new people, get to experience new things. Every corner you turn, there's going to be something new. Yeah, so technically this is like one of the this like the heart of Little Guyana right here, pretty much. But you have a whole mixture of a whole bunch of different cultures down here, and it's just a lot of vibes. It's very homey. When I come over here, I feel like I'm at home, even though I don't live over here. I definitely feel at home when I come through this neighborhood. It's definitely a nice neighborhood. Tell them, um, you got the billiards right here. You know what I'm saying? You like to play pool? You ever shoot pool? Billiards? Yes. You do? Yes. Oh man, I'm gonna have to play you. It's nice. hundred dollars a ball, man. We're gonna play. A hundred dollars a ball. Let's see what you got. Yeah, man. Usually at night, there's a taco truck right here that has like the best tacos, but he's not here right now. He comes usually when the sun goes down. All right, so we're here at my cousin's house right now. We're waiting for him to come outside, bring us some beats, make some, uh, lay some tracks, hopefully, bring some stuff over to Germany. Oh, here he come right now. 
Oh, what's up, Jasper? What's going on, Wayne? How you doing? Chilling, brother. I'm chilling. Yo, I got in, this man. beat. You want to check it out? Yeah, hop in, man. How you doing? What's going oh, on? You doing all right? Yes. I got, oh, this, I I got this music for you. I want you to check out. Um, I think can. Thank you. Yeah, the USB. Hopefully it'll work. Plug and play. Mm -hmm. Now we about to listen to some beats made by my little cousin right here. Hopefully they fire. Let's check this out, man. Let's see what you got. I like that dramatic entrance. Yes. It's nice. You like that? Yes. Well, basically, what you're hearing is like when I play music, it's more of like I feel it coming from my soul. It's like it's like everything is is invincible to me. I don't hear nothing. It's just just me, my piano, and my keys to me. Like honestly, it's just the sound of music that keeps the world going and that's how I feel. What were you feeling when you recorded this one? Uh, how people go through an everyday struggle on trying to survive in the world and trying to upcome um, different uh, obstacles in, in life, just everyday life, you know? I can, Sometimes. I can, feel it. I can kind of feel it, man. Deep inside my pain, I feel a pain that's in my heart. Oh dear Lord, please don't take me to the dark. Just take me to the light. I'm just trying to see positive outcomes inside this world. I'm trying to survive in this world and through hard times. And even though it's hard times, I see good times. And even though I work hard, it's all good times. And everybody know me. I work so hard, so I rise and I go and I. I will never, never know, so I work, I work hard, so I just gotta keep doing my job. Well, we about to go on our way to the park right now, still listening to this fire beat. You still like this beat, right? It's very nice, yes. Man, you, you got ice cream out in, uh, in Germany? I know it's a silly question, yes. but you seen an ice cream truck like this before? Yes. Oh, y'all got it? Yes. Mr. Softy? It's not working. I don't know. I'm not in the mood for ice cream though right now, but yeah, man. It's a big park right here. This thing is humongous. So we're on Hempstead Turnpike right now. This pretty much runs the stretch of Long Island all the way, because we're on Long Island, a part of New York. This right here is Hofstra University. Pretty one of the most like prestigious colleges in New York, uh, in New York and in America. It ranks in the top ten. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool neighborhood to like live in. Uh, you have a whole mix of students, and business, so it's it's pretty cool, you know. What I, mean? uh, I this is where my grandmother lived, so I used to come out here on the weekends. But I grew up over in uh, Elmont, which is pretty much closer to Queens, which is where we're gonna be heading pretty soon. We got some fast food places over here for all the students from the school or whatever. So they built a lot of restaurants over here. We got Popeyes chicken. Finger licking good, man, I'm telling you. We got some pizza places. There's a whole variety, a bunch of food out here. All types of, this. like a great melting pot. Get all the taste of all the worlds in like five block radius. So right now we in Hempstead, which is in uh, Long Island, Nassau County. Hempstead is humongous. Literally has the whole half of the island of Long Island. And pretty much uh, where we're at right now is like the central hub where uh, a lot of people come and go. There's a lot of traffic that comes through here. This is uh, this is the slums, pretty much. This is the projects right here. We're technically in the ghetto of Hempstead right now. The, the hood, I would say. One place that you definitely want to go visit when you come to America is Wings and Things. That's like the best chicken spot I have ever eaten at in my life. Someone tried to prove me wrong, but I'm telling you, that's like the best chicken spot in the world. Better than Popeyes. It is like KFC or it's better? It takes Colonel Sanders and puts him in a chokehold, throws him under the table. It's like no comparison. Wings and Things is definitely somewhere you want to go. I'm going to take you there later on. Okay. Yo, 
what's up? VDSIS World. It's Lil Wayne right here and Demi. We out here flushing right now at the Unisphere. I don't know much about it, but it was commissioned back in like the 64, I think, 65, just to like represent the space age. You know, I was going to the moon and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's a really dope park out here. We got the Mets Stadium right here representing New York. Let's go Mets, you know what I'm saying? Even though we're Yankees fans out here. Represent Yankees all day. I got the tat on my leg. Can you check out that? That thing is huge, man. It's you think we can find Germany on the map? Probably be a little hard, but. You know, section of the world. Got an ice skating rink right here. Let's come out here in the. I think ice skating. So you can, um, uh, uh, hockey and stuff. So they come out here, especially wintertime. Everybody's out here skating. We have the museum right here. All right, let's get a little closer to the Unisphere. Let's go over here and check it out. This is my first time getting this close to the BDSIES from the streets to the studio. Yo, we had a lot of fun today. Riding around the city, we had some fun. Yo, you had fun? Yes. Man, we tried some new candies, had some weird drinks, but at the end of the day, we was doing it, man. Got the yes. full New York experience. Hope y'all have fun with us, man. Hope to see y'all guys soon. Ciao, guys.